Toronto's Muslim community is still reeling after a volunteer was killed outside a mosque last month. Now, more threats are being made towards another mosque, not this one behind me specifically. The one in question is uh, the identity is being held back for fear of more threats being sent its way. That, however, has sparked a call to action towards the government to do something about white supremacist groups. Hate has once again reared its ugly head in Toronto with more threats aimed at the Muslim community. Now an increased call for more to be done to combat the issue. Words are cheap and words are not enough and we need action and we need it now because there is a serious threat to minority communities in, uh, in Canada. Uh, Muslims only uh, know that too well. The latest incident came over the weekend when a Toronto mosque received a number of violent messages that the National Council of Canadian Muslims have said threatened Christchurch all over again. That being a reference to the attacks that killed 51 people in Christchurch, New Zealand in 2019. I think that there are certainly tools that currently exist in the criminal code to counter uh, and to dismantle these white supremacist groups. In fact, last year, we had two white supremacist groups listed on the anti-terror uh, listing, through the anti-terror listing provisions, rather. Uh, namely, those organizations were Combat, 18, and Blood and Honor. Mohammed Azlim Safis was stabbed while sitting outside the International Muslim Organization Mosque last month. A suspect with alleged ties to a white supremacist group has now been charged with first-degree murder in the case. We need the federal government to step up and take a leadership role in the same way that it's taken a leadership role with the COVID-19 crisis, mm -hmm. okay? That's the sort of leadership we need because hate in our society is a disease the same way that COVID-19 is a disease and it's a threat to the safety of Canadians. Today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressed this latest incident. Islamophobia and right-wing extremism have no place in our country or our communities. We must always stand united against hate or intolerance of any kind. The threats cast over the weekend come after an open letter was sent to the federal government. It calls for a national action plan on dismantling white supremacist and neo-Nazi groups. I think while our community is certainly feeling an incredible amount of trepidation, we will not allow ourselves to be cowed by fear. We will not allow ourselves to be cowed by threats. Toronto police are still investigating the incidents over the weekend. No arrests have been made at this point and no suspect information has been released.